Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It is your girl Tamika. Hello gorgeous. Welcome back TT Gang Gang. If you are new to my channel, again, welcome. Here on my channel, I do talk a lot about fitness, which is pretty much weight loss, beauty, and lifestyle. If any of those three interest you, please go ahead and consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into this video. I am going to be giving you a Sam's, sorry, a Sam's haul on keto slash low carb. Now, if you are on low carb, you can eat these foods um, that I am pretty much presenting to you, but I am more targeting towards keto because I am on keto at the moment. So I'm only doing keto for one month. So this is basically going to help me get into um, that weight loss that I'm looking for since I am on a 40 pound weight loss journey. And now that I have been on keto for about, since Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I've been on keto for about four days and I, well, four or five days now. And I can tell you, I do see a difference in my body and I will give you an update on like how much weight I lost in total for a whole week since I started on Tuesday, August 3rd. And then I'm gonna give you my update um, on the next following Tuesday. So um, basically by the time I put up this video, you will see it the next day. So, all right guys, so I decided to just go ahead and do um, a walkthrough. So here I have this pulled pork. So the pulled pork, as you can see on the ingredients, once the thing comes through, but it is uh, zero carbs. So this is a good item to have. This is good for lunch. It is also good for dinner. Any time of the day that you are feeling a little bit hungry, you can go ahead and have you some pulled pork, but just keep in mind of the sauces. Um, you need to have sugar-free sauces or zero carb sauces, but it's best to have no sauce at all so that you are not um, putting too much carbs into your body, especially if you are on the ketogenic diet. Next, I am going to pull up this big old bag of party wings now everyone knows that chicken wings is zero carbs this is the best thing to have i like to put these in my air fryer next i have these hamburger patties these are the angus burgers this here is also zero carbs uh, just be mindful of cheese. Cheese is at least one to two grams of net carbs, which is something that I kept forgetting that cheese has carbs in it. So just make sure and you are mindful of that. If you pair this with um, a one net carb bread, that is good to have, but you can also just have it by itself with some salad maybe. So here's my salmon. Salmon is also zero net carbs. Um, this is a good source of uh what is it omega-3 so um always have this in your in your freezer and this is a good item to have uh here i have some snow crab legs uh we're actually going to have that today because i'm which is sunday but it is zero net carbs um good to have with some butter and a little bit of oil to get your fats so here is the veggies nest. So this is zucchini and yellow squash spirals. So this is in replacement of your noodles if you want to make spaghetti. Again, be careful with your tomato sauce. But um, yeah, it's a good alternative to have. It is three grams minus one. So it is two net carbs. So of course, veggies is going to have some type of net carbs. But as long as it's under five, you are good. That way you are not going above and beyond your net carbs. And anybody that wants to know how many grams of net carbs I eat, I try to stay within 10 to 15. Um, my first couple of days I was below 10 because I wanted to make sure I was losing weight. But you can do 20 if you want. So here is some cooked shrimp. Um, this is what I was eating in my first beginning stages of my um, keto. It is zero net carbs again. Um, the bag is open because like I said, I was eating that in the beginning of the week. I just went shopping on Saturday and got more stuff. So here's the kind bar. So these are the minis. Um, if you look on the back, the total net carbs is gonna be four. Now you do not have to have this every day. I got this as an alternative just in case I want um, something different, but just be mindful that it is four net carbs in total. 
So if you're eating strawberries, if you're eating cheese, if you're eating um, foods that are high in carbs, you're more than likely going to go past your 20 net grams of carbs. So be careful. So strawberries, which I just found out, I think is around two grams of net carbs. So if you cut up just two of those daily, that'll be good. So the reason why I'm comparing these two is that I wouldn't have these two snacks in one day. Like I would have just the strawberries one day and then the next day I'll have the kind bar. And at the time of doing this video, I thought strawberries were like four or five uh, net carbs. And I'm like, if you add that up, that's eight net carbs. Those items are not filling you up. You want to use your net carbs for foods that are actually going to keep you satiated. If not, you are basically wasting your time with, um, with your food because it's not filling you up the way it needs to be. All right, so next I have is some bacon. Of course, bacon is always zero carbs. But um, yeah, if you are a bacon eater, then this is something that you will want to eat on a regular. Next I have is my ice products. I love those, those are zero. Um, they do replace the taste and fizz of a soda. Here is some little zero country time um, sprinkles you can put in your water. If not, you can always just use um, water and lime. Here is some ham. Uh, this one, I believe it was two um, grams of net carbs. So just keep in mind that not all meat products are zero carbs. So chopped spinach, um, we're getting into the vegetable family right now. This one, um, I believe it was around two, two grams of net carbs. Here is some chopped broccoli. The chopped broccoli, again, I think was two net carbs. Here I have some cauliflower. Um, I'm getting ready to pull that one up, the cauliflower. But cauliflower, um, I think it's around one. You'll see it on here. It's a little blurry for me. I can't really see it right now. But um, just make sure you are getting your vegetables in because it is very essential that you are filling your Bible, uh, filling your body up with some type of fiber so here we have lettuce i thought lettuce had zero carbs but this one actually has two grams of net carbs cheese also has around two to one net carbs so just be careful that you are not having cheese in every meal setting so here is my morning star i always like to have some type of mock meat um, this particular one is actually four grams of net carbs. So again, be careful um, when you are calculating your carbs or you just going off the wind of just eating and then you don't realize. So here is a zero calorie snack. This is uh, sugar free. So it's good to have. And of course, eggs are always going to be zero carbs. So here I have some beef um, hot dogs. Um, child on beef hot dogs was at least two grams turkey bacon this is at least two grams no it's one gram a net carb for each slice so you want to make sure that you are careful with that um all right so i hope you enjoyed everything um far as like my sam's haul and a little bit of my um walmart haul but these are just some keto items just to help you um basically become aware of your ingredients on the back the nutrients on the back make sure you are checking it do not assume anything because you will be surprised where there are hidden carbs in these food items especially in the meat products you think you know but you really don't know and then you wonder why you're not losing as much weight rapidly as someone else so it's all about math if you're doing keto, that means you need to do 20 grams. But in order to lose a lot of weight, you want to do below that. Keep your um, net carbs below between 10 to 15. You should do fine. I'm telling you, I am doing good and it's working well for me. But if you want to produce less ketones, then you need to up it up to at least 20 to 25 grams of net carbs so that you are not producing a whole lot of ketones. And of course, when you are getting ketones, there are some side effects that you may not like, but it is only temporary, trust me. It will go away within a week, 
but um, I hope everything that you have seen in this video that you will um, take into consideration just join me on keto or if you have already been on keto or you're doing low carb just comment down below I would love to you know chit chat with you down below but just to make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel like and comment down below and stay tuned for my video tomorrow I cannot wait to show you my weight loss so let's go ahead and get ready to end the video and bye gorgeous <laughs>